Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So here we are in Ponds of Loki, and have a pretty nice score this time around. Uh, doing alright. Of course, I think this is the last round before we start seeing Tier 11 become a thing post-update. So that will be interesting. We'll see how competitive we actually need to be to stay in tier 11. I think we can make tier 11 considering how we've been doing in general, but staying is probably going to be pretty brutal. But uh, there's a funny story about this score, and so let's just, before we go into that, we'll just take a look at the brigade I used. Uh, nowadays, I, just, I was running distant counter on self, now we're just running HP plus 5 because we can. <laughs> um, the main core of the strategy is getting lucky that's that's kind of we're gonna try an advanced run here it's probably not going to end well unless it's an insane run because a lot of the time it just comes down to turn four can we get a unit like brave hector to level 30 plus and that's not very that's not something you can count on to happen every run so you can see here, post-update advance now scores 200 more points per turn compared to intermediate difficulty compared to the old 100. So if you can, if you have a decent brigade, advanced is the way to go, but you do have to do some a decent amount of fishing to a degree. Let's just get into it here. Uh, just a quick story about that 11.3k run. Looks like we have a kind of bad start, but we'll we'll make do. Yeah, this is a pretty bad start. This is gonna be a terrible run, but uh, uh, the 11.3k run was actually supposed to be more like an 11.6k run, but unfortunately we did not get very lucky, and. Uh, as a consequence, unfortunately, we uh, done goof during a turn. It was supposed to be again an 11.6k run, and I kind of during it one turn I had Brave Hector go up against Legendary Corin, but the whole point was Legendary Corin was supposed to attack into Brave Hector, and everything would be okay. But then after I planned out my units for combat. I was like, okay, maybe we'll try and greed and get another trio, and I did. But what I didn't process was, in doing that, Brave Hector's level became higher than that of Corrin, so then he initiated and everything went downhill <laughs> real fast, because all my other lanes depended on Brave Hector using near save, so uh, that was not great. But, you know, it's it's behind us now, but it's good to know that we can score pretty decently here. I think we'll go ahead and sadly do this. Uh, it's not great, but uh, what are we going to do about it? I think we mulligan here, try to get something better. Uh, we can pick up Murr, can pick up Self. I think we'll pick up Murr just for the flyer combo bonus for now. We're looking pretty terrible going into turn 4 here. <laughs> Guess we'll die. Because typically at this point, enemy units will be at around level 30. Looks like we got a bit lucky here, so we might be able to get away with things. Uh, there is Noe. Might consider... We'll pick up Noe here and see if we want to use her over Seros. Probably do. So let's sell. And... Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and keep our war funds till next turn. In the meantime, we're gonna get demolished by Lilona, so <laughs> pretty much have to put Noe there. There's not very many uh, great positions here for us. I think we have to put Mur up front because sure, she's res is uh, mildly low, so we don't want to mess with that. Duma probably against Alphonse is okay. This is not ideal at all. I guess we'll do this. This seems terrible because Bernadetta is going to hurt, but uh, that is the cost of not being ready for turn 4. I would have quit the run a long time ago, and of course, 
Noe being Noe isn't actually going to kill Lilna, so <laughs> uh, at least she healed a bit back. Alright, let's see here. We go for the Noe trio. Kind of hate it, <laughs> but I think we'll do it. Just gets us a very quick score boost. Uh, probably should trio sell off here. And... Uh, it's not ideal. We have to pick up Shershi to maintain our combo. And between picking up... I think we'll pick up... Uh, let's... I think given the units we're seeing right this turn... Let's switch back out for Celeth. Also gets us some more HP, I guess. For scoring reasons. Uh, Duma here is actually okay. It's not ideal. A bit dicey on combo. Definitely want... No, he's probably missing the kill, let's be real. <laughs> it's Noe after all. Uh, let's put... I think this is probably better. We'll just have Faye attack into us, I think, is okay. And then we'll do this, I guess? Question mark? That seems kind of bad. That seems actively bad. Let's do this instead. Uh, that is Bold Fighter, so we probably want to do something along the lines more of this. Just make sure we pick up the kill there. Uh, this Makai is actually probably going to survive if we do this, so we have to do this, I think. That seems okay, what could possibly go wrong? Haha. <laughs> Alright, Duma had to take some damage there, and Zelda misses the kill. <laughs> of course, uh, everyone missing the kill by a little bit. That is the unfortunate consequence of goofballing here. Um, We could greet and pick up Noe, I don't think it's worth it. Kind of feel like we should pick up Gunter here just for the Cav, but I think we're going to Hyper Greed and not do that. This is fine. Uh, let's pick up Florina. We need something there. And uh, let's Mulligan again in Greed. Unfortunate. I think we'll pick up Duma though. That seems okay over Shershi. At this point, that's basically a must. This is okay. I think this is probably better, but we're not really Kelking, so I don't really know. Unfortunately, Solif is underleveled, so that's going to be an issue. I think we just put Florina here's fine. Duma there's fine. And do this. This is not ideal, but because of the combo. The combo is what's worrying me here, but we pretty much have to have a Thune over there. Although she's not doing a lot of damage. This run's kind of dead anyways, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, very lacking in combo, and we're gonna miss a lot of kills here. Just by the nature of things. And by a lot of kills, that means more than more than zero. <laughs> if you miss any kills, it's very detrimental. Uh, I think we'll pick up Mer here. We do get her. Um, definitely want a trio Mer over Celeth, I think. That gets everyone to over level 30 at least. Definitely don't want to trio Celeth here. If anything, we might want to put in Gunter purely for the Cav bonus. It's just the thing about that is. It's worth it now, we'll get two more points out of it, assuming nothing changes in terms of the battle outcome, but I don't think it's ideal. Hmm, I think we'll do it. We'll, we'll risk the biscuit and match their combo. Uh, in this case, we'll probably want to do this. Not entirely sure where sure she's going. <laughs> this is uh, Dimitri with some very threatening stuff here. I think we just gotta have Mer initiate into him. He doesn't have any damage reduction, so hypothetically maybe we kill here. But that Lilna is hyper over leveled and someone is taking a lot of damage. <laughs> There's no way around it, unfortunately, because none of our units are under leveled enough. We would have to like buy Mila and screw your score over to do something there, so I don't think that's worth it. 
Um, this column is terrible, to say the least. Yeah, everything's pretty terrible here. Uh, Duma over here seems better. Because uh, we're matching combo right now, so we're going to get absolutely rolled, I think. <laughs> I don't think there's any way around that one. I think we're just getting rolled. I don't think Gunter one-shots either. Uh, 97. Yeah, he definitely doesn't one-shot. I think we do this then. Ah, whatever. <laughs> We're gonna lose a lot of HP here. Yikes. Especially since Murden actually one-shot. Yeah, we we're just getting obliterated. Just a really bad run. We would have quit this a long time ago, but it is our jank. Uh, it is our jank bonus run thing, so we're gonna keep going with it. I think we'll go for the mulligan here. Not great. There is a uh, an Elwood here. Probably better than Gunter. So let's put him in. Kick you out. We'll bring in Duma. This is an abysmal. <laughs> this is an abysmal matchup right now. We're so under leveled that we're just gonna get absolutely rolled. Not sure what we're gonna do about that. Um, I think we pretty much have to use Mer or company on this column. Actually, Mer on this column is best because. Otherwise, we're really going to get rolled in that column. Which means we pretty much have to do this. But then the problem is, Makai is going to roll us. Unless Sathun can somehow two-shot, which is 100% not happening. Because I don't think she even one round KO's core in here. Actually, she... No, she doesn't even have a special. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, this is terrible. We're just under-leveled across the board. Like... Byleth's here. Sure, she's ultra underleveled. I think this is probably best. Having Elowood bait Fey and then proccing Gale Force. But that seems kind of bad as well. But Selif is not in a good spot. Probably should have considered putting in Duma. This is going to be abysmally bad. <laughs> uh. This is the cost of being underleveled, and the combo thing is kind of whatever. It's mostly an issue about being underleveled. Uh, we didn't see Brave Hector at all in this run, and he's pretty important when you get outleveled like this, because there's no way you are player phasing a lot of these units. It's just not happening. At this point, we could put in Hector for score. And he is higher level, so we'll just go with that. Go for the trio here and just mulligan because we can. And that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, we are at our max combo at least, but it's not going to do us much good anyways. Alright, so here, let's follow the Athun here every time because we're probably not killing a lot of these units though, so... <laughs> Uh, this is not, the Fallen Edelgard is going to be a massive problem because of bonfire and whatnot. I think we have to use Florina here in this column, but then Keaton's going to fling a Moonbow in her face, I think. Unless we out attack him, which with Pegasus Flight, I guess it's reasonable to for that to happen. This column, this seems fine. Probably Bold Fighter is okay here. We probably actually want to do this because of Divine Fang, giving Dragon effectiveness. Let's put Noe in this column. So then it becomes Selif here. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, and the thing is, we just don't have anything for Fallen Edelgard except Duma. And she's going to have dragon effectiveness, so... Yeah, this is very screwed. <laughs> to say the least, very screwed. Let's just do this. Um, 
I don't actually know what's best here. Could have Seleph over here. Seems okay. And then... Problem is Corn's just gonna absolutely obliterate. Uh, do we just run Noe to get hit by effective damage? Ah, why the heck not? <laughs> this is gonna be abysmally bad, but uh, we did see... I think Brave Hector was in the queue there. Yeah, we're just gonna get obliterated now. Nothing we can do here. We're just completely out-leveled here. So, <laughs> absolutely garbage run. You can get a better run than this on Intermediate, but... That is why, if you are on advanced, you gotta you gotta have a pretty decent brigade. We'll go for one more, just one more random run, just for the fun of it, to see if we can get a remotely better run. Because I can definitely get a much better run than worse than. Okay, this is terrible. Yeah, we're <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll do one more. We'll try to get at least a decent start because. Uh, Okay, this is good enough. We'll take it. Uh, we'll just start Murduma and go from there. We'll see if we get anything here. Brave Hector is so important. Typically, I just keep restarting until Brave Hector starts showing up. Because otherwise, we just don't have a good time. <laughs> to, put it, to put it straight. Uh, this is a pretty bad start because we didn't get like a red or blue dragon on top so unfortunate it's gonna be another suboptimal run i think i'm just gonna speed run this in giant quotes we're just gonna go off of instincts because this is a pretty dead run already uh, i think we just do this and uh yeah th this is a pretty bad start can't really do much better because we can't get two more of these guys in because we took two level 20s. I kind of like the, uh, kind of like taking double level 20s. I think it's pretty good. For advance, I don't think it's as good an intermediate because you have to cram as much score as you can, but on advance, most of your score is late game. Early game, you're kind of just trying to survive. So... Here we could pick up Eloid, but then that comes at the cost of we really can't pick up Duma. So, what do we do? Also screws on our armor stuff. I don't know. Let's go, let's go this route, see what we get. Um, yeah, I guess we have to pick up F from here for the combo. That's pretty much it. And then we pick up Mur here. And that's about it. This is fine. This this is probably there. That's this is not ideal because of Cecilia. I think we have to let's do this. Duma here is okay. Yeah, all of this is okay. It's just that Noe's probably taking some sort of non-negligible damage here. Unless we actually do this. Um Doom is going to take damage though. I kind of don't like that. I like how we said we were going on a speed run of this, but it's like a slow run. <laughs> uh, actually, a better optimization would have been... Actually, no, because Doom is our only armors. Never mind. It's okay. Not perfect there. But let's uh, trio Doom. Uh, let's go... Because of what I see right now, let's go Tiki. And then we pretty much are forced to pick up Hector for armor reasons and also being an axe unit. So we could consider here kicking out Sela for Mer, which is better. Well, let's pick up another Sela, I guess. This is going to be another terrible run. 10 out of 10. Uh, that Hector is going to be quite annoying here. I think we do this every time. Let's do this because he has lower res. Uh, between... This, this is pretty bad. This is okay. This is better, probably. 
Up from there, we could probably do Noe here. Something like this is okay. We are at max combo at least, but that's not really saying much. Uh, we do miss the kill. Unfortunate, but that's what happens when you speedrun. You don't actually calc what the outcomes are going to be. We're going to definitely try and get a combo or trio here. Get one trio. At this point, we really want to get another trio. But how are we going to get one? <laughs> Good question. No idea. Uh, we can kill. It's fine to kill our combo in favor of putting in solo. I think we're going to greed and try and go for a trio. We do get it, which is huge, but not huge enough, I guess. Unfortunately, Hector costs five, so we can't pick him up without sacrificing way too much, but he would be much more ideal than Ephraim. Because we already have double infantry, so we don't lose anything, and he would help a lot. Let's see here. I think we just always go sell of here. Force Fae to attack into us is fine. Ephraim's really not going to be doing anything here, so let's not worry about that. I think we do this. Um, do we ever do this? I guess we could do something like this. Something like this seems okay. Is there an optimization we can make real quick? Uh, not really. We can kick out Ephraim for Noe. But that doesn't boost our score, so we're just going to suffer along the way. <laughs> yeah, we're going to suffer along the way. We, we did no calcs whatsoever, so missing kills by like a few points of HP like that are going to kill your score. And yep, no brave Hectors at this point. And there is sure she over Hector. But he's, if we don't get brave Hector, it's kind of bad. I think we definitely pick up Ellawood. Let's just do this. Unlucky, we'll mulligan we'll again. Still unlucky. At least we can sell here, put in Brave Hector. Uh, which will help out here for sure. I th Blade Session 6? <laughs> okay. I mean, it works, but it's uh, mildly suspicious, let's put it that way. Uh, I think we should probably use a wood because I don't think we're going to one run KO, so we're going to just need to attack as many times as we can. Noe here is okay, but we're going to get out sped, so she's actually going to obliterate Noe. That's great. <laughs> uh, I mean, between Tiki and Noe, it's pretty much got to be Noe every time. His wind sweep's going to be devastating. Yeah, this team's we're just too underleveled. Unfortunate. We're going to use near save here. And so that that'll be fine. Duma here is okay, I guess. Um hmm. This is not ideal because of how the uh, Brave Hector is going to use near save here. We don't even kill, so yeah, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> the underleveled issue, but you can see Brave Hector does pretty well in general. I think we just uh, see what we can get here. Kicking out Selif in favor of Florina seems good for combo reasons. Pick up Murr, and then we'll go ahead and just sell Ephraim. Seems okay. Okay, same deal here with uh, near save shenanigans. Let's do this. Um, let's do something like this then. No, let's, no, we have to do that. Wait, yeah, this is a bit bit jank. <laughs> uh, you have to be under leveled for near save to work correctly. So this is fine. We can... no. Yes, no. Uh... Huh. 
actually have something to think about now. <laughs> um, this column's kind of suspicious. Not gonna lie, because we don't have near save. I'm going off. I guess we do this then. So then this happens. This happens. No, we have to be under leveled again. So it's hecka awkward having Hector initiate in there. So it's gotta be Mer here then. Hector here is okay then. Uh, that means we don't want near safe to go off then. What the heck? <laughs> this is uh, mildly confusing to say the least. Lots of things going around here. Okay, do we want Hector to go up against Snowy? That seems terrible. He's just too underleveled. He's just too underleveled here. I don't know. Of course, Hector also isn't going to carry. So I think we have to do this. He's not going to carry like literally every matchup. So I think we have to do this. Yeah. Kind of forgot that Noe is going to be Noe and miss, we'll miss the kill. And we even die there, so... <laughs> so bad. Underleveled Brave Hector as well, contributing to that. Uh, sure she over Hector seems okay here. But it just kind of doesn't help our score. Unless we get more, better uh, outcomes in combat. It's just Mulligan here. Pick up Brave Hector, pick up Hector. Get Duma, I guess. Get Hector. Uh, between the two, it'll have to be a sell if... If we had any chance of trioing, which obviously we didn't because we only had one. <laughs> so, we're gonna get obliterated here, it looks like. Fortunately, we can do something like this, for example, and we're chilling. This column is very troublesome. This column's fine, we just put Florina here and she just walls everything. So that's fine. Uh, this Fey though. <laughs> this Fey though. Uh, you don't want Hector near saving that. Let's do something like, no, this is pretty bad. I think overall, any choice, anyone we put here is pretty bad. Guess we do this then. Go Elowood here. And then... Hector here. Noe here. This seems pretty bad, actually, because it... It assumes Hector actually kills a bunch of things, and with the combos being like they are, I don't think that's happening, and yeah, Faye's just gonna auto-wall everything. That's the problem. Don't have, didn't have Duo of Thune this time around for armored effect damage. So, another Garbo run. Not really a speed run either, because they decide to actually explain decisions a bit. But, uh, yep. When you get a good run, you get a good run. <laughs> That's what, just for, just for shizzles and giggles, since we're already here. Let's see what we would have started with here. This kind of starts not bad. We would lose a bit of HP early, but it looks promising. We're not going to go through with it, though. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Eth the Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!